Guys, I am so excited. Everything that you're seeing here is from Rep Fitness. I've been waiting a long time for these products. I'm super excited to actually get to open them up and give you my initial thoughts. If you're new to the channel, my name is Travis. I do a lot of home gym type of videos and I've just recently built this home gym within the last four to five months and there's a lot more to come. So please subscribe to the channel if you are new and drop this video a like if you end up enjoying it. Well, let's get right into it. Where do we start? That is the question. I'm probably going to save the barbells for last just because they end up being a real pain to open. So I've got some dumbbells, I've got some weights over here, and just a very quick tour of my gym if you happen to be new here. So I have the Rogue RM6, I have the Rep AB5000 Zero Gap Bench, I have a Rogue Ohio Power Bar with the Rogue Echo Bike, and then over here I've got the Rep Dumbbells and the Rep Dumbbell Stands. But as you can see, this stand is super, super empty but not for long. All right, so I had the 60s and the 70s and we finally acquired the 80s, the 90s, and the 100s. This dumbbell rack looks so much more complete now. I only wanted the dumbbells in 10 pound increments. I don't even know if the five pound increments would fit on this thing. I just found, especially for heavier weights, I don't really need those five pound jumps. It would be nice to have, but with the cost and the space, for me, just not worth it. Now that I've been using these dumbbells for a few months, I can tell you that I like them a lot. I think they're an incredible value, probably one of the better values you're going to find on these types of dumbbells. They're the rubber hex, they have an amazing knurl, and they're holding up great. And they fit on the dumbbell rack that I think is an even better value than the dumbbells themselves, rep that are only around $150 each. Now, they're not perfect, they're not the urethane dumbbells, which would be much better in my opinion, but I just didn't feel like splurging on them. I'm not like Brandon Campbell. That dude has so much cash, he doesn't know what to do with it. So, I did go a little bit cheaper on the dumbbells, but the only, the, I would say the biggest drawback on these is like these 100 pound dumbbells are the biggest dumbbells I've ever seen in my life. So it is going to limit the range of motion if you're doing like bench press or something like that. But give and take, I would say for me, it was the right decision. But let me just tell you, it feels so good to finally have a completed set of dumbbells. I was getting tired of being limited by not having enough weight. So having those are going to be huge in my training. Obviously I'm way too huge to only have 70 pound dumbbells. How many people are getting so butt hurt right now that I'm opening rep products with my Rogue Rack behind me? I don't know why people are so like one way or the other. You can mix and match. I mean, you don't have to be so loyal. Maybe you do, I don't know. But the one thing I wanna mention about rep products that I've seen so far is that they're packaged much better. Maybe that has more to do with the shipper. I believe it's RNL carriers that brings rep products. And both times, wait, two or, two or three shipments I've gotten now, it's been the best shipping experience that I've ever had. So the boxes typically aren't too beat up. The product never, none of the products have ever had much damage, if any damage at all. So kudos to rep on that. So this might not be overly exciting for you, but let me just tell you, for me, this is probably the number one thing that I've been waiting on. Five pound plates. I haven't had any, <laughs> the lowest weight I've had is a 10 pounder. So having something like this, an easy change plate, is gonna make a big difference in my training because sometimes when you're benching or squatting, you only need to go up 10 pounds. And I didn't have that available to me. So these are super nice. These are the equalizer plates. I've never seen them in person, but I can tell you, I am a big fan. These are sharp. What do you guys think about these? Dang, these things are sexy. Oh gosh, how triggered are some people about to get? I'm about to put the rep equalizer with the rogue machine plates and the shooters and they don't even match in color. Guys, I would have bought the five pounds from rogue, but I didn't have them. But thankfully, we've got some five pounders now. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but it doesn't look awful, does it? Let's get to the big boys.
By the way, I'm gonna be linking all this stuff in the description box below. You don't need to sit there and like write it down with a pen or Google it as is. I'm trying to make it easy on you. These guys really exceeded my expectation. They look even better in person than they do on the website. This glossy black look is super, super sharp. So I picked up four of the 45 pound plates. These are the equalizers. And even though I have the Rogue Shooters, one, I wanted to be able to add more weight to my rack, because obviously I don't even lift, but this will help hold the weight, hold the rack down even more. And it's no secret that you've put up with a sponsor, or maybe two on my channel since I've started it. So what I try to do is invest back into these videos. So by getting these, I can compare them to my Rogue Shooters and give you guys my feedback, because they are cheaper getting them from Rep. So is it worth spending the extra money or does it not really matter? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Do you think Rogue sneaks into Rep's warehouse and puts these stickers on? It's just so annoying. I know you're made in China. Hate to do it, but I'm dinging Rep for the stickers. It's just so unnecessary. Out of all of these items, this is what I am most excited for. And I'm also least excited to open. I feel like there's gotta be a better way to open a barbell. got ourselves a curl ball. Finally, man, I've been wanting this for so long. So you wouldn't even believe how hard it is to get a curl bar these days. And it's rackable, which is awesome. So use this for some curls and then some tricep extensions. These are really the main two exercises you ever need to do if you want to get jacked. And this puppy is the easy curl bar, the rackable version, obviously. And it is in chrome, like the 26s on my Range Rover. And the thing is sexy, man. I, I am loving this bar. This is my first time ever getting a bar from Rep. So overall, super excited to have that to add to the arsenal. And speaking of bars, we have one more to go. And how about this? I'll make you guys a deal. If you like the video and subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, I won't make you sit through another time lapse of, of me opening that bar. Is that a deal? Come on. I held up my part of the deal and count your blessings because that took me probably like 20 minutes, which is a little, that's not good. All right, so this is Rep's basic barbell. I was really intrigued by this because it cost $89. $89 for a barbell has center neural. I mean, the neural is a lot different than like my Rogo higher power bar, of course, and they do have more comparable barbells, but I was really interested to see what a $90 barbell would feel like. So I got it for one, review purposes, two, to give Megan a bar to work with. And I don't know, does that, does that mean to give your fiance the beater bar? It's, it's nothing personal, she has cooties. We just don't wanna share them around. And also, I wanted a bar that I could put in my landmine. So this really met all my criteria. And I will report back. Honestly, that don't look like too bad of a barbell for 90 bucks. I've never really been a bar snob. I mean, I'll pretty much train on anything, but it's funny going from something like this to this. But I do wanna do kind of a complete compare and contrast, $350 barbell versus $90 barbell, and is that difference actually worth it? So I'm trying to pull up my receipt here. I think all this stuff cost me around $1,200 or so, which for all that gear, not too bad at all. And that's one of the benefits. When you buy from Rep, you're going to get an amazing value, but I still have to review all this stuff for you, I know. So stay tuned for some future videos. There is no way I would be able to sleep tonight knowing that this was still in my gym. This is going out to the dumpster right now. Thankfully, there's a dumpster right next door. They're still doing construction, so I just got super lucky. All right, so I had to come back into the warm house. It is freezing out there. It is. 30 degrees right now and I still haven't figured out a good heating situation that might be a project for next year let's first at least get the equipment but I'm very pleased with everything please let me know your thoughts in the comments is there anything that I'm missing anything that I should consider picking up to review or maybe just to have to train with I think I've got pretty much all the basics now just get those two and a half pound plates and I should be I should be ready to go so as far as the rogue stuff that I have, getting rid of it, probably not. I mean, I love that RM6. I know I entertained the idea for a while and going with the PR5000 with the lap pull down, but 
for right now, I'm just I'm just gonna stay put. I don't see a problem with having some rogue and some rep. It just seems like when I'm in the Facebook page, uh, the Garage Gym Facebook page that is, it's like there's so many like, diehards one way or the other. Like if you buy rogue, you're an idiot because you overpaid for everything and it's just a waste of money. Or if you buy rep, it's crap that's made in China and you're wasting your you're wasting your money for that. And it's just like. Why is this so like polarizing? It doesn't make any sense to me. It's like politics. It's crazy. So I don't see a problem with being able to blend the economy products with the premium products. I think it's fine. And you know, why not? You're already here. You might as well stick around for a different kind of review. This is my first time trying the Chipotle cauliflower rice. So all my low carb friends over there, which I'm not a low carb guy. Low carb guy, excuse me. Uh, but I wanted to at least try it out, and I don't even see the cauliflower rice in here. Like, what is it supposed? To, uh, ooh, not what I was expecting. I don't know about that. Leaves a little bit to be desired because that Chipotle was so underwhelming. I'm gonna have a built bar to end off the night, and they have been nice enough to sponsor this video, which, as I mentioned, allows me to continue buying gym equipment to review. So I'm super thankful for that. This is the Zero Guilt. 100% real chocolate, no get guilt here at all. And this is toffee, I believe, toffee almond. And let's check this guy out. It really does have a toffee flavor, but it doesn't taste like artificial or fake. Really good, they nailed this one. I would have to give this an 8.42 out of 10. And the consistency on these bars is probably the best thing about them. It's like you're biting into a marshmallow. Very, very good. And you guys can use Travis to save 20%. I'm going to leave them linked down below if you guys want to check them out. The white chocolate is my personal favorite. They have a wide range of flavors and they all taste really, really good. So check out Built Bars. Again, it's going to be linked down below. And that is going to be the end of the video, my friends. I really appreciate you tuning in. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything anything in the entire world and you chose to spend a few minutes with me that is pretty awesome please give the video a like subscribe to the channel if you are new and i look forward to talking to y'all next time